Today we're looking at the British English accent of Gemma Chang. And I just was about to walk past her and I blurted out, I love you! Oh. Like, out of nothing, complete silence in the corridor. <laughs> and she just looked at me like, Hi. Gemma is a super talented actress that was born in London but raised in Kent. She attended Oxford University before becoming an actress. Now she's been in some of Britain's best loved TV shows like Sherlock, Doctor Who and Fresh Meat. She really made her name though playing Astrid in the film Crazy Rich Asians. The problem with our marriage isn't my family's money. It's that you're a coward. But I just realised it's not my job to make you feel like a man. I can't make you something you're not. So for this video, I've taken a couple of interviews and I'm gonna analyze her accent and show you the different pronunciation features that she has. I just wanna say a big thank you to Lingoda for sponsoring this video. Lingoda are an online language school and they are back with their Sprint promotion, which offers you guys 100% cash back on your course fees. Now I'm gonna tell you more about this fabulous offer later on, but first, Let's hear the dulcet tones of Gemma Chan. It was. I thought mm. I'd, I thought second time around it would be much easier and I'd slip right back in, so I think I was a bit complacent. Okay, there are so many interesting features to talk about with Gemma Chan's accent. Now, she speaks with modern received pronunciation, which I think is a fascinating accent because it takes the traditional received pronunciation of the queen or of the upper classes and it softens it slightly. It becomes a bit more every day some features that we would see in traditional received pronunciation aren't really observed in modern received pronunciation. So, for example, T's and stuff like that, but we'll get into that in a minute. Now, first of all, I wanna talk about that th sound that she uses on thought. This is a very typical sound in received pronunciation. It's that th sound. So your tongue is touching the top of your teeth and you're breathing air out, th, th, thought. Thought. It was. I mm. thought I'd, I thought second time around it would be much easier. Now, as we've seen in other British English accents, for example, with uh, Louis Tomlinson or uh, Idris Elba, that sound can change depending on where you're from. So, if you're from the north of England, you might have something called th fronting, which where it becomes a f, so it'd be fought. But with Gemma Chan, she's using that received pronunciation f sound, so it's thought. Let's hear another example of that sound. We have the thing called um, synth boot camp. Okay, so we've got synth, synth. Now, interestingly, in that same sentence, we've got a really key feature of what makes her accent modern received pronunciation, and it's the dropping of the T. In conservative RP, the Queen's English, you wouldn't really drop that T. That T is present most of the time. But with Gemma Chan and lots of people that speak modern received pronunciation, T's can be dropped. So where she says boot camp, she doesn't say boot camp, she says boot camp. We have the thing called um, synth boot camp. Boot camp. So that T is gone. I guess because it's just easier to say. And she does this frequently when a T is in a middle position, but particularly in the end position of a word, she'll drop that T. So let's find some more examples. It was. I mm. thought I'd, I thought second time around it would be much easier and I'd slip right back in, so I think I was a bit complacent. Okay, so we've got thought, right, and complacent. Okay, not complacent, it's complacent. T, it's gone. And same again here. They, some, some, some people are quite surprised. They're like, oh my God, we actually thought you were a robot. So right, robot, not robot, robot. In conservative RP, in the more traditional uh, accent, it would be robot. You'd really say that T. Okay, but let's check out this example because this is fascinating. It is, it kind of is like they're, like they're at party. I imagine we'll, we'll have a little party somewhere. On little, she glottalizes the T, so it disappears, it's little. But then on party, the next word, she pronounces that T, so it sounds very typical of received pronunciation. So this is what I'm talking about when we're talking about modern RP. It's that combination of dropping T's, saying T's, it's a bit more fluid and not quite as structured and rigid as conservative RP. It is, it kind of is like they're, like they're at party. I imagine we'll, we'll have a little party somewhere. I wanna take a quick moment to tell you guys about Lingoda's Language Sprint offer. Now life is a little different right now. 2020, it's been a strange year so far and we're doing things differently. We're working differently, we're socializing with our friends and family differently, and we are learning differently. With many of us unable to go to conventional language schools. This is why more than ever, I'm proud to be partnering with Lingoda 
because they offer online language classes that provide a solution for us all in these difficult times. And I'm very pleased to say they are back with their Language Sprint offer. Now this is an incredible offer for anyone who wants to make learning English a habit. So it starts on the 23rd of September, 2020. Now there are two different ways you could do the Language Sprint. You could do the Super Sprint in which you need to attend 30 lessons per month for three months. And at the end, you can get 100% cash back all of your course fees back to you. That's an amazing offer. Now, if that seems like too much of a commitment to you, you could just do the sprint, which is 15 lessons per month for three months, and then you get 50% cash back on your course fees. So it's up to you. Do you wanna do the super sprint, 30 lessons per month for three months, or the sprint, which is 15 lessons per month for three months? Either way, you're gonna be making language learning a habit, and I think that's the most important way to improve our English, is to continue to do it every day or every other day and get into a routine of learning, because I see a lot of students who learn maybe one day a week, and they learn it for three or four hours, and then nothing for the rest of the week, and that's, it's hard to build up momentum and to start to see progress if that's the schedule that you're on, whereas if you're doing a little bit every day, you're gonna improve so much faster. They have English, French, German, and business English. And the great thing is you can study at any level from beginner through to advanced. You need to sign up before September the 8th and there's a 49 euro deposit, but you can get 10 euros off that deposit by using my offer code. And the offer code is school25, okay? Use that and you'll get 10 euros off your deposit. Now, why do I love Lingoda? Well, I love the fact that it's completely flexible, okay? There are classes 24 seven, which means that you could attend the class any time of the day. So if you're an early bird and you wanna learn at 7 a.m., they have classes then. If you're a night owl and you prefer to do lessons late at night, you can do that. You could study at home, you can study in the park, it's completely flexible. You can study anytime, anywhere, and I love that flexibility. Classes are small. They're usually around three or four people, and classes are given by qualified native level speaking teachers. So if you want to start to make learning English a habit, then check out Lingoda's Language Sprint. The link is just below. Click away, and remember to use the offer code SCHOOL25. Gosh, I wish I had some juicy news for you. This here is a great sound to display received pronunciation, that ah oh sound. Now, it's articulated at the front of the mouth, ah. Oh. In other accents, perhaps it's articulated further back in the mouth. So in Cockney, it might be gosh, gosh, and you've got it right at the back there. But in received pronunciation, it's further forward, gosh, gosh. Now, ah oh sound, yeah, absolutely, you can really hear it. And that R oh sound is very distinctive of RP. Gosh, I wish I had some GC news for you. Now, another distinctive feature of received pronunciation is the diphthong O. Oh. Now, this again is articulated further forward in the mouth, making that sound O, oh, O. Oh. And it's, yeah, a very distinctive feature of modern received pronunciation and conservative as well. Uh, let's have a listen. This is my first award season, so we're like, let's, let's go big or go home. Right, go big or go home. Go big or go home. And you can hear that O oh sound at the front of the mouth there, O. Oh. This is my first award season, so we're like, let's, let's go big or go home. Let's hear another example. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's really nice that they watch, yeah, watch the really show, lovely. but yeah. Now, modern received pronunciation, as we have said, isn't quite as rigid and structured as conservative RP. So there is a bit more movement for changing sounds, changing vowel sounds, blending words together, using connected speech. And in this example, she says, been in, well, been in is what is written, but actually she says, been in. I've never had such an amazing reaction to anything I've been in. Been in, so she's using a different form, a shorter form there, be, been, and she's joining the N to the, to the vowel after, been in. So it's not been in, it's been in. And we've got another example here where she uses weak form. These are forms of a word that are shortened down. They're using a schwa sound. So for example, instead of and, it'd be n. So in this sentence, let's hear her use some weak forms. Filming, really? we have a choreographer who comes and, and works with us. So we've got uh for a, and we've got 
and for and. Now also in that sentence we've got interesting features, the H sound, okay, so on have and on who. Now I've discussed this before, um, I did a video about Jade Thurwell's accent, she's from Newcastle, and received pronunciation and uh, the Geordie accent are pretty much the only accents that use the H sound. Now in other videos that I've done with uh, Liam Gallagher, with Louis Tomlinson, that H is dropped and it's very common in most British English accents to drop the H, but receive pronunciation, Geordie and MLE, you're keeping the H sound and she does that here. So have, who, humans, let's hear that. They, some, some, some people are quite surprised, like, oh my God, we actually thought you were a robot. Like, right. Well, no, I'm, no, no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm a human. human. <laughs> okay, and the last feature that we're gonna look at today to really exemplify modern received pronunciation is that R sound. Now she says it on past. And I just was about to walk past her. In the south of England, we're using that R sound, so past, uh, laugh, um, half. In the north of England, most accents in the north, it's an ah sound, so it's past and laugh and half. So yeah, that's a really, that's one of those features that can really help you identify is someone from the north of England or the south of England. Okay guys, in the comments below, I want you to let me know what do you think about Gemma Chan's accent? Did you like listening to it? Did you like um, learning about it? Um, and who else? would you like me to do in this British English accent series? Uh, also remember guys to check out Lingoda's Language Sprint. The link is just below, but until next time guys, this is Tom, the Chief Dreamer, saying goodbye.